everybody, and welcome to the final match we have here today. It's Saints Gold versus Davenport University. Two heavy hitters. I mean, look at this. You can already see the action is at an all-time apex. Daniel, are you not excited here with me to see the final match for today? Yeah. Absolutely, I'm excited as we see Davenport University already getting the first goal on the board. St. Clair Saints gold. I feel like this is the ultimate culmination of everything that they've been facing off against today. And I think that this is going to be the true mark of the test of time they've been trying to march through all day today. They fought through lowers so savagely with so, so much effort, blood, sweat, and tears. And Davenport being the final boss, so to speak. I is very fitting. Exactly. Four minutes remaining. Davenport having the first goal for the first minute is going to put them at a slight advantage. And I mean, if you're gold, you got to be running out of gas just a little bit. It's tough to keep up with Davenport, who most likely had quite a bit of time to rest after blitzing through that winner's bracket. And it's just so hard to keep up the energy for so long. Yeah, and so far, two points on the board for Davenport University. This is very uncharacteristic, at least from what we've been seeing from the Saints side. Usually at this point, we already have at least three on the board for our side, but right now, Davenport, like I said, this team is a different caliber from all the others that we've been seeing today, and hopefully that doesn't include the gold team. Hopefully they can really show us what they're made of and come out on top in this best of five. They've once again been fighting so hard today. To lose here, I'm sure they would want to if they don't have to, but even if they do, again, the run they made today was absolutely incredible. I wouldn't be ashamed of it, but at the very least, they would learn more from how things go. Davenport University, an excellent team, but Bears with an even more excellent shot. Bolte really denying that one would have been a huge swing of momentum for the Saints and just overall mental boon if they were able to get that one. So lucky for Davenport able to not have that happen and have the Saints run away with the series at the end. Exactly, Vesh going for a beautiful goal right there. Tying, not tying this one up, but bringing it ever so closer. Yeah. For tied in school. These teams are really titans of their craft. One to two so far. Saints really showing signs of life with that first goal. And honestly, nobody more fitting to get that goal than Vesh. One of our sleeper hits. And when he shines, he glows. He emits radioactive ions that can really do some harm to anybody on the opposite side of the screen, playing the opposite side of the field. And hopefully, Vesh emits some of those in this game because the Saints really need any advantage they can get against Davenport University. Christian with a beautiful save, riding the wall, trying to make this one go their way. Vesh not going to let that one hit the ground. He's actually going to bump that one forward straight to the orange pocket. Barris trying to catch that one. It's going to get tapped away. Brock is going to tap that one towards the ceiling, however. Now, Vesh going to intercept the pass, that lineup that was coming out from Brock. And Cam trying to catch this one mid-air. It's going to go to the corner. He and the teammate are trying to take this one out. But the Saints are there. They're ready to meet him. Stuff that clear attempt and keep this one in the air on orange side. Vesh now trying to line up for a shot. Barris is there. Going to go for it, but Bolty going to tip that one away. Beautiful save. Can the Saints turn this into another shot attempt? Christian just barely going to be able to stop this one from going to blue side, holding it back onto orange. And Paris now with Vesh up in the aggressive side on orange, trying to get this to a shot. And Vesh finds it beautifully done by the gold team, lining, the th lining that one up and tying the series 2-2 two to two now. Tying it up 2-2. Two to two. What a comeback from the Saints. That looked nigh unwinnable at a point there when it was 2-0 Davenport. You thought they really have it in them to put this one back, and they do. They brought it back, but is it Davenport's turn? Is this a turn-based turn? Do they have their limit break ready? Feels like it. Are they ready to unleash it? It looks like it. It's their turn on the offense here. They're making a lot of passes towards this goal. Yeah, then like you said, 
just does kind of feel turn-based at this point. The Saints had their offensive turn, and now as the time goes down, Davenport seems to be in the driver's seat. As the Saints try to take their turn back, it's going to get denied time and time again. Cam meeting it this time in the air, but Vesh kind of countering the counter, taking this one down, not going to let him take control. But Bolte turning that into a shot attempt. Christian, thankfully there for the save. Barris tipping this one ever so slightly, allowing it to be in a little bit more favorable of a trajectory towards Orange side. It's going to be stuck in the pocket. Bolte is going to come out from the side to try to clear things out, but Barris is there to seal it back. Christian riding the wall. He's going to get the bump at least. That's going to allow Vesh to send things back to Orange side. No one there to contest him. Two coming down to try to meet the ball. Vesh is going to be the one that finds it. No boost, however. He's going to try to restock, and he finds that. Christian taking it up. He's also running dry, but he's still going to go for the shot regardless and almost finds it. He's going to bounce off the post. Vesh looking for the shot. Not going to find it. He's meeting Bolte there, colliding in the air. Two to two. 20 seconds on the clock. Bears going for another shot. Christian almost lining that one up, but he's going to meet some resistance, and that resistance is going to be instrumental in making sure that a, a goal is not scored for the gold side. Christian once again being the last bash of hope. That smoke cloud kind of obscuring things. Hopefully he didn't prevent him from seeing what he was doing, but regardless, he's going to be able to get two saves in a row, allowing things to go to overtime. Two to two against Davenport University. Scary situation to be in. Our first overtime for the day. St. Clair Gold versus Davenport University. I'm excited to see how this one spices up. But wow, Davenport with the near kickoff goal. Going to be taking game one in a very comfortable fashion. Hey, the seven second goal, we see it again. It rears its ugly head, but this time it's gonna be against the Saints. Now, two to three, Davenport University takes this game one against the Saints and uh, Again, it was a strong fight, very well done on both sides. However, Davenport eking out the advantage this time. I feel like the gold team, they're able to really come back, recuperate their offense, and bring things together in the end. I feel like they'll have some success. It's just that Davenport, we saw those saves. That's just like, let's be real. That's scary, seeing that those kinds scary. of saves. That is scary. When you have the perfect lineup and they're just able to answer, they're... It's not the fact that they're just in the right place at the right time. They reacted. They put yeah. themselves in the right place at the right time, which is the scariest thing of all. And now they have some time, though. Even if they lose this next game, this is a best of five here in the finals. So they have some time to work with. They have some time to you know, maybe experiment a little bit, see what works, see what doesn't, see how best to prescribe a medicine that cures this plague of Davenport upon the Saints. <laughs> yeah, and uh, honestly, I feel like it's a little bit more uh, complicated than just taking your medicine when you're dealing with uh, something as toxic as Davenport University's offense. It's so scary, it's so threatening, and it can cause a lot of symptoms, uh, especially choking, which you don't. That's one of the scariest symptoms that you could face. So hopefully the Saints took their medicine and they were gonna be able to clutch this one out. But again, it's Davenport University. There's no shame one way or the other, but I don't think they wanna feel any shame. They wanna feel nothing but glory as we go into this game two. Saints Gold are trying their best to come out on top here. They're really flying through the air there, almost getting the touch. Vash is going to be the one that finally catches it, taking it to orange side. If it bounces away, I think it will It'd be advantageous, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Christian with no boost, not able to follow up. Vash with boost, however, going to take that demo onto Cam, and a shot's going to be found. Unfortunately, no one was ready to get that save. I think it might have been Christian going for that one, but again, no boost on him, so he wasn't able to meet it. And uh, it looks, no, it was actually Vash. Unfortunately, just wasn't expecting the shot to be found, and again, don't blame him. That one really did come out of nowhere. Just came out of nowhere, and that's what Davenport finds best. When your guard is not up, when you think you have a comfortable position, they find that one in a million shot, like right there! Woo! You thought it was at a standstill. You probably weren't even thinking that there was gonna be a goal. You probably weren't even imagining it. But no, they found it past two people on defense on St. Clair. I mean, that's the scary thing about Davenport. They find these, these, these openings that no one else can find. They exploit them to full effectiveness. 
Yeah, and the full effectiveness of anything is scary. You know, they say the human mind is only being used at 10%. I feel like for Rocket League, however, Davenport University uses 100% of it. As that roller is going through, Christian really just activated like maximum 6th gear, 7th gear mode and zoomed all the way to it to get that cleared out. And I feel like the Saints defense might be crumbling a little bit, but their offense definitely isn't as Vesh double bounces that one and takes it from the sky into the net playing that one so well look at that beautiful shot coming through once again not tying the series but getting it one step closer to being tied getting it ever so closer but will they be able to close this one out oh, we'll tie it up and they just might as christian finds an opening but a beautiful defense from cam always on that ball like a cam would be on an actor in a movie screen Looks like Barris is looking to make himself the star of the show today. He gets a beautiful setup, but it gets blocked out by Davenport. Davenport, they are looking to sink the Saints gold ship, but at least they're going to be in the port. They can get their ship serviced. I don't think Davenport would willingly service the gold ship, however, because they are kind of shooting cannons at them from the shoreline. And I think if things go their way, they'll be able to successfully raid that coastline and get all the booty. Yar. They might be able to get that gold as well. They're looking to take that gold all the way to their treasure chest. And maybe Davenport is a port full of pirates looking to line their pockets with the Saints of Gold, the holy gold of the Saints themselves. And now Christian is trying to keep this defense alive. They need to find one more goal of their own to keep their dream alive, to keep the waters flowing, to keep the current moving in their favor. It's against them right now. They're going upstream. They have to push harder. They have to row that boat all the way to the end. But the entire time, the water is fighting against them. Davenport being that harsh river, pushing them back to the start, keeping this ball on their side of the field. There's nothing that can stop them at this point. Now, that might be an own goal from the Saints. It's an absolute disaster. Ooh. Absolutely devastating that feeling you have, but realistically, it's like, like, what are you supposed to do in that circumstance? He was getting in position to get the save, and they just tapped it off of the side. I don't even know if that was intentional on Davenport's side. It definitely wasn't intentional on the Saints' side. So it's just one of those things that just happens in a game of Rocket League. But no matter, all the Saints have to do now is take that shot and go from two goals, or go from one goal to tie things up to two. Now, not yeah, All you gotta do is get a goal. It's easy. Oh, no, no, they have to get two. Okay, they have okay. to get two goals now, <laughs> which is the scary part. But still, it's far from impossible we saw them already get one beautiful one with Vesh, and they were just so close to a second one. And hey, another one with Vesh could be possible here, but no, they're able to read his offensive strategy, and Barris is going to get the demo as a result. 1.30 on the clock. Brock trying to make it go TikTok, and I'm going to stop the rhyming there because I wouldn't dare try to diminish the success of the same side as they try to push their way, get the shot. Vesh finding it. It's going to be a laser beam, but it's not going to find the mark. More like ricocheting off the walls and hitting someone in the eye. Unfortunate for them, but this is going to be another shot opportunity from Christian. Going to get denied by Bolty Cam, waiting on the ground as they're seeing the, this one bounce off of the ceiling. Barris, Jason with down, pinching shot! Oh my god, that was so close! Christian, just off the mark a little bit. The offense is not relenting on the side of the States. They are chasing this one feverishly. I feel like they recognize, and I would kind of agree with them, that if they aren't able to get one very soon, they probably won't be able to get them at all and that would mean they're going to be down and hey I think this kind of cements the fact that the Saints might not be able to come back in this game thankfully for them it is a best of five and they'll still have the next one to really bring things back but even if they do start to bring things back they'll be in a reverse situation it's going to be a tough a long hard road to clean climb back from the walk on to move a pass. But if there's anyone that can do it, it's this gold team. Much like gold, they do not tarnish very easily. They stand resolute. They stand to the very end. 30 seconds remaining. Not looking good right now. Davenport has a very wide goal lead, but maybe, just maybe, with more miracles like that, Ferris and the rest of the team can bring this back. Yeah, two to four here. 20 seconds on the clock. Hey, one goal every 10 seconds is not 
an unreasonable ask. We've seen that infamous seven second goal twice already. Can the Saints just capture that magic twice? And we're seeing Barris line that one up perfectly to get the kickoff, rolling the way of orange side. Vesh, Christian, and Barris all with a lot of boost, but they all spend it trying to catch that one midair, and they're not going to find it. Barris, thankfully, going to find that ricochet. Now they're trying to make sure this one goes to the orange side, keeping it there, going for the shot, lighting it up perfectly, but no, Brock is there for the save. Unfortunately, not able to send that one in, and that's going to spell the end. And in fact, that's going to be one more goal going into the Saints net. Two to five. Davenport winning this game, too, very impressively. It felt a lot closer than the scoreline reflects, but the Saints still have one more chance to fight for survival. One more chan chance, much like they only had one more chance in the loser's bracket. You know, they had to go with that last chance this entire day. They're mm -hmm. not worried about this anymore. You know, you fought very hard to get here, but you've been fighting hard this entire day. This is no different. You have to take it one game at a time. And just like I was saying earlier, some people play with the HUD off, the scoreline off, because you just have to keep playing Focus. for that next goal. Doesn't matter what the scoreline is, you just have to play for the next goal. I feel like it's kind of like, obviously they're in loser bracket, but when now they're down two games, they're like in the super losers bracket. <laughs> and uh, it is a different bracket than yeah. the regular losers bracket. You know, losers bracket. You made bracket, it this far. You climbed all the way here. Yeah. With one last obstacle to cross. And this is where, uh, you know, lives can change in the blink of an eye. When your back is against the wall, things happen. People do things that they never thought possible. Maybe the Saints can turn this into one of those opportunities, or maybe not. In any case, it's been a hell of a day of Rocket League, and this is the final one we're going to be seeing of the day, the final series. That's can this, this oh, final series. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a back it up after all that build up. No, really. no, no. I, have, <laughs> I believe in the Gold Boys. <laughs> I believe in them, and nothing makes me happier than seeing Christian win in Rocket League and of course the rest of his teammates but when Christian wins he's like yeah it's just cool it's just really fun the other two are pretty quiet guys well let's see it but that's not what you want to see if you're a Saints fan that's gonna be Brock starting things off with the starting line goal putting Davenport in the lead once again I mean this is I think multiple games every game in a row they've had the lead on the Saints to start. Maybe not game one, but they quickly even that one up. Yeah, they were able to really establish a dominant force in the entire day they were playing. But again, Davenport University seems to be the team that they're struggling with. And of course, not surprising at all, one of the best Rocket League collegiate teams out there today. And Christian gonna try to catch that ball in midair. He's gonna lose that exchange, however. Vesh cradling that ball towards Orange Net. Cam is gonna be able to demo Christian all the while they're taking this one forward. Brock is gonna lose that exchange to Vash. He's gonna be able to meet that one. Christian bouncing that one out of his hands, setting it towards the net, but it's gonna hit the crossbar, hit the ground afterwards. Varus now trying to find this one. Christian's gonna bounce this one off the pocket. Brock is going to be ready to catch that ball, but it's gonna be an interception play from the Saints that allows it to stay on orange side. Vash now trying to catch the ball. He's gonna find it with the boost as well. Gonna slowly take this one down. Brock, oh, he beat Beats him mid-air, can he get one more to get the goal? Unfortunately not, but just goes to show the level of mechanical skill these players have. It's just that the opponent team has equal levels of skill and are able to pull off some excellent counterplays just like that one. Christian is still trying to play patiently off on the sidelines. Barris as well, taking this one out of the pocket. Bolte going to be able to stuff that one, prevent it from going anywhere too crazy as it flies over the center. That's the real trajectory you want to see. Unfortunately, you weren't able to get that shot. But Christian fighting this one. Can they keep it out? Yes, they can. That one was hovering over the line. Just weren't able to cement it and keep it pushed all the way through. Davenport University, their defense is looking to be impenetrable for the Saints. Looking to be absolutely impenetrable. But the Saints still need to get to this goal. They need to bring on the offense. And this might be it. Bears for the beautiful defense. Maybe getting a clear here. But Brock not letting up on the offense. Just keeping this ball over on the side of the Saints. You know, keep taking, even if it's not the best shots in the world, just keep having to make the Saints go on that defensive. Burns out the clock, puts it even further into the lead as this time takes down. Rock finds a beautiful opening and a beautiful save by Bash. 
Yeah, Vash is going to be able to get that save. Keep the Saints in this game. Barris now flipping this one over. Vash is going to tip that one towards the net, but Brock is going to find that, steal it away, and in fact turn this into another goal opportunity for Davenport University. Barris, however, going to intercept that one and launch it over to Orange side. One on the board for Davenport University. This is not an insurmountable advantage for the Saints, but they just have to surmount it. And that seems to be the insurmountable part. It's not a very big score gap, but they've been struggling so much to even find a single point at times. Can they just find this one while preventing another from Davenport for the time being? 1.30 on the clock now for the Saints. Are they going to be able to dig deep and find the answer with their back against the wall? Their tournament run on the line here where they've been fighting for all day. They're so close against that orange net. Barris now chasing this ball back. He's going to get the boost. No, it's actually not just barely missing. He's dry completely and they're stealing all the boosts around him. Vesh is going to be the Avenger taking that ball in his stead as he has to retreat to find more boosts. Vesh also dry now. Christian is getting there too and this is probably a scary time to be at that as they're trying to take the ball to your net. One minute remaining for the Saints to get, at least get one more goal to tie the series. Brock is doing a great job of being disruptive and as I say that he gets a demo onto Bears, the disruptor on the side of the Saints side. Nothing more disruptive than disrupting the disruptor at 45 seconds remaining. Saints still haven't found a single goal in this game. They have not and that is absolutely devastating. I mean, you need one, you need one quick. Sure, it's only one goal gap. You can close it out even at the last second. Maybe you can get a buzzer beater here if you're the Saints. With 30 seconds left on the clock though, it's looking less and less likely. They need to play the boost economy perfectly. I mean, it looks like slowly but surely they're getting more and more boost trying to deprive Davenport. It's so risky. You don't want to over the extend too much because if that goes up to a two goal lead, that's over. It's done. You got to pack it up if you're the Saints. But now, with 10 seconds left on the clock, Davenport, they get a full frontal assault here over on the Saints. But no, it's going to go over to the side of Davenport Saints, making one mad last, last mad dash over here towards the goal. One second remaining left on the clock. Cam going to try and slam this one down to the ground. It's still up in the air. Will this be an overtime? It could go either way. At this point, it's over on the orange side. But no, it's going to hit the ground. And it's going to be Davenport advancing to day two and the grand finals. And unfortunately, it's going to be the gold team cut short. Unfortunate indeed. They were just so close. And even in the last couple of seconds, almost getting that last goal, they needed to take things to an overtime. But once again, an unbelievable save coming out from Davenport and one of the many unbelievable saves. I'm starting to believe them, actually, <laughs> uh, with how frequent they are. But Davenport University able to take game three over the Saints, and that's going to be all the Saints runs coming to an end today. Yeah. Beautiful day we had here. We had Overwatch to start things off. We I had a win about that. and a loss. And then we quickly, well, maybe not so quick, we had a little bit of a break. And then mm -hmm. we came back here with CRL. Had a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Got some wins, some losses, a lot of paths to follow. Felt like I was watching a, a, a movie series with multiple characters branching yeah, paths. It's like JoJo. And we, exactly. <laughs> but now... That's it. That's all we have here for today. So we're going to close it out right here. Thank you very much, everybody in the back, Amanda and Ari, for making everything run back there. Thank you, Daniil, for joining me. Oh, don't thank me. Today. Thank yourself, big dog. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. But we also have to thank our sponsors for today, Alienware. Tim Hortons, Subway, St. Clair, SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. And Thank make you. sure to follow our social medias to stay up to date on our next stream. I think the next stream is going to be Tuesday, so you don't want to miss that. But with all that being said, do you have any last words, Daniil? Have a great night. Yeah, have a great night, everybody. Thank you for joining us here, and we'll see you then.